Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two circles, as you can see in this figure, whose radii are 7 and 9 respectively, and the distance between their centers is 20. And now we are going to find the distance between these two points of tangencies C and D. And moreover, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you two different approaches to solve this problem. And now let me show you the very first method. So let's look at these two circles. Let's look at this bigger red circle. The radius of this circle is 9. Let me go ahead and call this radius as uppercase R. So our uppercase R radius is 9. And let's focus on this uh, blue circle. I am going to call this radius lowercase r. So that is lowercase r is going to be 7. And the distance between the two centers A and B is 20. So I am going to call the distance AB is 20. And now we are going to find the distance between C and D. So let's go ahead and find the distance between C and D. And now let me show you quick and simple formula to calculate this distance CD. CD is equal to square root of this distance AB square minus R plus R square. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the CD distance is going to be the square root of our AB in our case is 20. So that is going to become 20 square minus our uppercase R is 9 plus lowercase R is 7. And then let's go ahead and take a square of this one. So let's simplify this thing. 20 square is 400 and we know that 9 plus 7 is 16. So 16 squared is going to give us 256. 400 minus 256 is 144. And now the square root of 144 is positive or negative 12. And since we are dealing with the distance and distance is always positive, so therefore, CD turns out to be positive 12. So thus this distance CD turns out to be 12 units. So thus the distance CD turns out to be 12 units. And now let me show you the second method. And we know that this AC and BD are the radii and this CD is a line of tangency. So according to this tangent to a circle theorem, the angle between a tangent and a radius is always 90 degrees. That means they are perpendicular. So that means this angle has got to be 90 degree and this angle is 90 degree as well. And since both of these radii are perpendicular to this line of tangency, so that means these two radii are parallel. And here in this next step, I have created this rectangle CDBE. This angle is 90 degrees such that this side BD is equal to this side CE. If this side is 7, so this side length is going to be 7 as well. And this side is equal in length with this side as well. So this side is same as this side CD. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle AEB that I have just shaded. We know that this side A 
e is 9 plus 7 is 16 no wonder i put down a equal to 16 a b this side this a b side is 20 right here this is our high party news this is going to be and finally we are going to figure out this side b e and here i just wrote down we are going to calculate b e and since this given a triangle a e b is a right triangle so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's the pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square i'm going to call the longest leg which is hypotenuse as a c this side i'm going to call a and this side i am going to call b and now here's our pythagorean formula a square plus b square equal to c square in our case a is we don't know this one so i'm going to leave this one as it is a square plus b in our case is 9 plus 7 is 16 so this is 16 square equal to c in our case is 20 square so let's go ahead and simplify that thing a square plus 16 square is 256 equal to 20 square is 400 let's go ahead and subtract 256 from both side so therefore a square turns out to be 144 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both side so our a value turns out to be positive or negative 12 and now since a represents the distance so distance is always positive so therefore a turns out to be positive 12 and now let's observe this one so this distance a is equal to this e b and we know that this e b equal to c d so therefore a is same as c d so therefore we conclude that this distance c d turns out to be 12 units so thus we conclude that the distance cd turns out to be 12 units and that is our final answer as you can see over here thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye